Hello, everyone. Welcome to the China Brief. We bring you the latest global media coverage on China's current affairs, economy, and society, as well as exclusive analysis. Our trustworthy, professional, and multi-perspective China reporting provides judgment and decision-making references for the world's elites. The China Brief is issued in multiple languages, including text, video, podcasts, and books, and is broadcasted 24/7 in the six-degree world. This is China Brief. We bring you the latest content from the world's authoritative media on China's current affairs, economy, and society, as well as authoritative and exclusive analysis. Please subscribe to our content if it is of value to you. Technology remains at the heart of the battle with Beijing. The Financial Times reports that China's rapid development in emerging technologies, particularly artificial intelligence (AI), has raised concerns about its growing military capabilities and ability to undermine U.S. security. China's recent tests of hypersonic weapons have further highlighted its technological prowess and its use of U.S. technology to enhance its military capabilities. In response, the United States has implemented export controls to limit China's access to advanced technologies with military applications, such as artificial intelligence and advanced chips. The goal is to make it as difficult as possible for China to acquire these technologies and to prevent it from utilizing U.S. and allied technologies. However, Some experts are concerned that these restrictions may incentivize China to further invest in advanced technologies and accelerate efforts to close the gap with the U.S. military. Nevertheless, the U.S. government has made it clear that it will continue to take targeted actions to protect its national security, even if that means decoupling from China to some extent. Here's the China briefing. Kissinger meets with Chinese defense minister amid sanctions standoff. The Hill reports that former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger visited Beijing to meet with Chinese Defense Minister Li Shangfu. The visit comes at a time of heightened tensions between the United States and China and discussions about potential sanctions. Li said U.S.-China relations are at their lowest point since the establishment of diplomatic relations, accusing the U.S. of not being halfway with China. Kissinger. Who was instrumental in establishing diplomatic relations with China in the 1970s warned of catastrophic consequences if the U.S. and China went to war and urged further cooperation. Here is the China briefing. Ukraine update: The West really must prepare for a longer than expected conflict. Ukraine launched dozens of drones over Crimea the day after Russia accused Ukraine of attacking the Kerch Bridge. Reports the Daily Telegraph. The Russian Defense Ministry claimed to have shot down 28 drones, but said there were no casualties or damage. The counteroffensive continues, with Ukrainian forces making progress in the Malatok Machka and Velika Novosilka areas of southern Donetsk. Analysts believe that the conflict in Ukraine is likely to be a protracted one, and that the West must be prepared to support Ukraine for the long term. Here's the China briefing. China's Trip.com Group launches travel-oriented AI model. The South China Morning Post reports that Trip.com Group, China's largest online travel service provider, has launched a large-scale language model (LLM) called Wendao to provide customers with accurate voyage data and transaction recommendations. The LLM, which is still in beta, was trained on 20 billion high-quality travel-related datasets. And Trip.com has put in the physical labor to verify the AI-generated responses are accurate. The move is part of a broader effort by China to close the gap with the West in building similar services, following the launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT in November. Stay up to date on the latest China-related news, analysis, and policy briefings from around the world with China Briefing. Our team aggregates, synthesizes, and summarizes the most important information from a variety of sources, including the media, think tanks, government agencies, and industry experts. Our mission is to provide you with easily accessible and valuable information that is tailored to your specific areas of interest. 
We understand the importance of staying abreast of the latest developments related to China and aim to make this information accessible to our readers.